Today we're going to learn how to make good small talk in English. In the first half, I'm going to give you advice on how to make good small talk that will help you to build relationships with your friends, family, and coworkers. And in the second half, I'm going to give you some basic phrases that you can use for quick and easy small talk at work. If you Google small talk, a lot of the topics that people recommend asking about are good topics, but the questions that they recommend are often very unnatural and actually sound like interview questions, which is not what we want when creating small talk. If you start a conversation with, "What was the best movie you watched recently?" That's weird. That sounds like you are interviewing the other person. Food, movies, sports, etc., are all good topics for small talk, but only if you think that you can really connect with that person on that topic, or if you know that they have a lot of knowledge about that topic. And you are genuinely interested in learning from them. And if you're going to ask about those topics, start with an introduction before you ask a question. For example, I heard you really like the Star Wars movies. I saw you were eating tacos yesterday. I remember you saying that you watch a lot of football. So that's my main advice: choose a topic that you are genuinely interested in talking about. And start with an introduction so that it feels like a conversation, not an interview. Now, here are some basic phrases that you can use for everyday small talk at work. First, instead of asking "How are you," I recommend asking "How are you doing?" or "How's your day going?" These usually sound more casual and more friendly. And I think that they are much better for starting a conversation. If someone asks me how are you, I usually automatically reply, "Good, thanks. You?" And that's the end of the conversation. But if someone asks me how I'm doing or how my day is going, I actually stop and think about it a little bit and give them some specific details. And then they can use those details to create follow-up questions and start a conversation. If you're talking to someone on Monday or Tuesday or after a holiday period, here are some other basic questions that you can use. How was your weekend? Do anything fun over the holidays? Or if it's Thursday or Friday, you could ask, "Got any plans for the weekend? Doing anything special this weekend?" Or just Ready for the weekend? And the final thing that I want to mention is asking for recommendations. Asking for recommendations is a great way to create small talk and build relationships, especially if you ask about something that you know that they know a lot about. This shows the other person that one, you remember something about them, and two. You respect and you value their expertise or their opinion. This can be very effective, even if it's something simple like, "Hey, Mike, I remember that you lived in Thailand for ten years. Can you recommend a good Thai restaurant near the office?" Your goal is not actually. To get the name of a Thai restaurant, your goal is to show the other person, "I remember something special about you, and I trust you. I value your opinion." So yeah, those are some ways that you can make small talk. Remember, don't make it feel like an interview. Start with an introduction. Ask about topics that you are genuinely interested in talking about, and if possible, ask for a recommendation. And remember, being friendly and showing genuine interest in the other person is much more important than using perfect grammar or asking perfect questions. So smile, relax, and focus on the other person, not on your language. Anyway, I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.